hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sheila today we are going to be working something pretty different from what we usually make i got an order of um a baby a baby's carpet and uh i took it on i thought i wouldn't make it but i had to because the client really insisted on me making one for her kids room and uh this client was a bit specific with the materials she wanted me to use so she brought her own material and she told me to use this same exact yarn for her baby's carpet so this is seal three ply i believe this yarn is made in kenya it's 100 grams color gray and uh she brought gray black and white and those are the colors that i'm going to be playing with today to get for her that same exact carpet that she had in her photo and uh the other materials you will need are a pair of scissors and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook which is a k hook so let's begin I'll be showing you how to make this carpet from the base of the carpet which is the main color and that color will be gray and uh, then we shall be attaching several other parts onto the carpet so let's get into the video so um for those who don't know how to make a flat circle I'll be showing you how um, you're going to start off with a slip knot and then you're going to chain up five and go into the very first chain that you made so that will create a loop here and then you're going to chain up three sorry you're going to chain up two which doesn't count as a stitch and then go into the circle with a total of 12 double crochets so this is two remember we don't count the chain two as a stitch so so far we have two we want a total of 12 double crochets three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so I have a total of twelve double crochets in my very first loop so I'll kind of pull on this and then um, you're going to go into the very first double crochet that you made not the chain into the very first double crochet that you made and make a slip stitch so that marks the end of round one so for round two you're going to chain up two which doesn't count as a stitch and then go into the very first stitch with two double crochets and continue to make two double crochets in each and every stitch below so at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 double crochets sorry 24 double crochets since um the very first round was 12 so times 2 you should have a total of 24 double crochets so continue to place two double crochets in each and every stitch below so 
So if you're not sure that you did the right thing, please make sure you cross check. So 12, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. So after your 24th stitch, you're going to go into the very first, on top of the very first double crochet and make a slip stitch. So this is round two. And now for round three, you're going to chain up two, which doesn't count as a stitch. Go into that very stitch with two double crochets like that and then one double crochet in the next two double crochets in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next so that's the repeat for this round two then one then two in the next then one in the next so you're going to go all the way around doing that until the end of the round Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you guys on round um, four. So I ended my round with one double crochet and then I'll go into the very first stitch that we made for this round and make a slip stitch. That's the end of round three. And now for round four, we are going to chain up two, which doesn't count as a stitch. Then double crochet twice into that very first stitch where you place the slip stitch. So two. So you should notice that um, at the beginning of every round from round two, I won't say round one because round one is special. From round two onwards, every round begins with two double crochets in the very first stitch. So you start with two and then one double crochet in the next two stitches. So the pattern for this uh, round is two, one, one. So the previous one was two, one, two, one. Then now it's two, one, one then two in the next stitch then one in the next two so the pattern is two one one two one one so go all the way around doing that two in the next stitch then one in the next and one in the next then two in the next then one in the next and one in the next so that's the repeat for this round you're going to go all the way around until the end of this round and then I'll be showing you round five so I've come to the end of this round and uh, I placed my two double crochets here and then one one and then I'll go into the very last sorry the very first double crochet that I made for this round and make a slip stitch so this is what you should have and now for round five you're going to chain up two which doesn't count as a stitch and then place two double crochets in that very first space so I told you every row from now on starts with uh, two double crochets in the very first stitch 
So I've placed my two double crochets and the repeat for this round is two, one, one, one. So let me remind you for the third row, for the second row was two, two double crochets in each and every stitch from the first row. Then for the third round, we had two, one, two, one, two, one. Then for the fourth, for the fourth round, we had two, one, one, two, one, one. Then for the fifth round, you're going to have two, one, one, one. So that's the flow of uh, making something flat, something that's going to go flat on the ground, a flat circle. So it's two, one, 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 two, one, one, one then two one 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 so you're going to go all the way around and then for the sixth round you will have two one 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 so we keep increasing the stitches in between the the sets of two double crochets by one stitch so if it was one for the third round it's, it should be two for the fourth round. Then for the fifth round, it's three stitches in between um, these points where we place two double crochets. Then for the sixth round, it will move to four. Then the seventh round, it will move to five stitches in between the two, two double crochets. And now uh, that's the flow of this pattern. You're going to go around and around because now I've shown you the basics of how to make a flat circle. You're going to make a total of 13 double, 13 rounds of this. And I'll be showing you how main worked out. And then you'll go back to this beginning and you will get your second color. Mine will be white. And then you make another circle of a total of eight rounds. This time not 13, 8 rounds because that is going to be somewhere around the nose. So let me go ahead and complete this, 13 rounds, and then um, I'll get back to you guys when I have that. Um, so this is how my 13 rounds came out. I can't put it all on screen but uh, it looks like this. Make sure you do 13 rounds and then for round 14 I just did a round of single crochets all the way around without any increases. I just did a round of plain single crochets, one single crochet in each and every stitch all the way around. And now um, this is what I got. And then I went ahead to do uh, a white one, a total of eight rounds. So this is how it came out for white. And uh, this white is going to be placed somewhere, sorry, um, somewhere around here. And then I went ahead to do um, around like uh, a circle of black. So I did one, two, and then a round of single crochets, but this time with the increases. So I did uh, 12 stitches here, then uh, two, two stitches in each and every stitch around. So 24 stitches here. And then for the round that's supposed to be the third round, which is two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, but this time with single crochets so that it didn't become very big. So this will be the first part of the eye, the first eye actually, and it will be placed there. And then we had the second eye, which should be the same exact as this. Then I went ahead to do two circles in white, just one one row of uh, 
double crochets so 12 double crochets of white which will be placed at this point and then the second small circle of white which will be placed here so you can see the carpet coming out and then I'm going to move it a bit to the side and then we shall make the ears so I'm going to be showing you how to make the ears and then the nose part of the of the face and we shall pick it up from there okay so right now we're going to be working on the ear and you're going to start with a slip a slip knot and we're going to start off with white so you're going to chain up four a total of four chains then double crochet in the very first chain that you made so one double crochet so we want a total of seven double crochets so this chain three counts as one stitch so so far we have two three four five six and seven so this is what you should have and now you're going to chain up two turn your work this chain two doesn't count as a stitch so you're going to go into the very first stitch with two double crochets and then continue to work two double crochets in each and every double crochet below so two double crochets in each and every double crochet below so you should have a total of 17 double crochets since the first row had seven stitches so times two that will be 14 double crochets So don't forget to go into the very last double crochet which is the chain three so you're going to go on top of it and make sure you place two double crochets so this is what we have and now for row three you're going to chain up two which doesn't count as a stitch <coughs> and now go into the very first stitch with two double crochets then one double crochet in the next so two double crochets in the next stitch and then one double crochet in the next then two in the next so that's the repeat for this row then one in the next two then one two then one two one two one so don't forget this chain th two at the end doesn't count as a stitch that's why I haven't put anything there so we end our row on one um, double crochet you can see we are getting this uh, this shape and then we are going to switch colors You're going to grab your scissors then chain one cut your yarn And then you're going to switch to gray or whatever color you chose to use <coughs> for the main body of your piece so first enough white and then you're going to introduce gray for my uh, case that's gray that's the main color so make a slip knot and attach it to the very last stitch where you left off with white and make a slip stitch 
so after this you're going to chain up two which doesn't count as a stitch and then go into the very first stitch with two double crochets then one double crochet in the next and one double crochet in the next so for this row for this row it's a repeat of two one one so two in the next stitch then one in the in each of the next two stitches so one then one in the next then two in the next two double crochets in the next then one and one then two in the next then one in the next and one in the next two in the next one in the next and one in the next so that's the repeat for this row so it's two one one So I've ended my row with the second single crochet. So it's two, one, one. So I ended my row on one double crochet. So for the next show, you're going to chain up three, sorry, chain two, which doesn't count as a stitch. Turn your work and then go into the very first stitch with two double crochets. So you can guess for this uh, row, it's two, one 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 then two one 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 so let's do that one 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 then two double crochets in the next stitch then one in each of the next three then two one 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 two <coughs> one one and one two one one and one, two, one, 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 two, one, one. And in the very last one, I'm going to do two double crochets so that we have a flat surface here. So instead of placing one in the very last one, I'm going to place a total of two double crochets. And that will mark the end of our ear. <coughs> Sorry. This is the end of our ear and you're going to leave a very long strand and cut your yarn. So you're going to chain up one and pull through this so this tail is to to attach the ear to the body of the head of the carpet so you're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the second ear and then I'll meet you guys when you have that so um, we're going to be working on the nose and for the nose, I'll be using gray. So you're going to start off with a slip knot. And then you're going to chain up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're going to chain up three more. One, two, three, and go into the fourth chain from the hook. So count one, two, three, and into the fourth you're going to do a double crochet and then go into the next stitch with a double crochet 
go into the next chain with a double crochet go into the next chain with a double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet in the next so we have only one chain left and you're going to go into it with uh, a total of six double crochets so this is one two three four five and six so right now we've changed direction we're at the back of the um, our very first chain and then go into each and every chain make sure you don't skip any so go into each and every chain with one double crochet so I'm working this while weaving in the behind uh, strand so continue to place one double crochet in each and every chain and when you come to the very last chain you're going to place a total of five double crochets because it already has uh, this chain already counts as one so since we place six in here that means we'll place five and then this chain is the sixth so go into the very last stitch with a total of five double crochets one two three four and five and then you're going to go into the very uh, first double crochet with a slip stitch so this is what we have <coughs> and then you're going to chain up two which doesn't count as a stitch go into that very chain with one double crochet then double crochet into the next 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 double crochet in the next so so far we have one two three four five six seven so on the seventh we are going to place two double crochets so two in here because the seventh is one of the stitches that went into the very last chain so two in there two in the next two in the next so we are placing a total of two double crochets in all the six stitches that we placed in the very last um, chain so you should have a total of six stitches that have two double crochets in them so one two three four five hold up one two three four five and six and then once you have that you're going to go into the next stitches with one double crochet so I have a total of three stitches on their own one two three four five and six and now we are on these stitches that went into the very last chain so one two three four five six so in each of those stitches you're going to place a total of um, two double crochets so two in each of the next six double crochets So the moment you're done with that, you're going to go into the very first um, double crochet that you made 
and make a slip stitch and then you're going to chain up one and cut your yarn make sure you leave a long strand because we need all these to comfortably attach these pieces onto the carpet so you can imagine this is going to go all the way around attaching this nose onto the the carpet so this is the end of the nose and then we shall be attaching it to the carpet later all right so i went ahead to do some more things i attached the white part to the gray part and then i attached the black which is the eye part onto the gray and then attached the white onto the black and then i went ahead to do the same exact thing on this side and uh, right now i haven't yet attached the nose and i'm going to be showing you how to attach that nose so that you get this um the exact technique that i use to attach these parts to the gray part so here i am i've got my nose this is the size of my nose and i want to place it somewhere around here let me push this a bit so um identify where you want to place your nose either somewhere down here or up whatever you prefer i'll place mine at this point if you have some pins you can pin it down so that uh, it doesn't keep moving but since I don't have pins I'm going to just be careful so that it doesn't move from the original spot so I've already put this um, strand that I left on the nose uh, into my tapestry needle and I'm going to be working all the way around attaching this nose onto the white part so I'm going to start from here where the yarn leaves the nose so you just go like two stitches in into the white and then out into the gray so like that then get a few stitches of white and then put them into the next uh, stitch of gray then there's really like no exact spot where to put your your hook your tapestry needle you just have to be a bit neat so that the work doesn't look disorganized so you go into a few stitches of white and then come out through the gray stitch the next gray stitch so this is how it looks like you can see it has attached along here and keep holding down your work so that it doesn't keep moving so that's all we are going to do all the way around and this is the same exact technique that I used to attach the eyes and this white part onto the gray so you're going to go all the way around the nose So I'm going to go off camera and I keep um, attaching this part onto the white part until I get done with it and then I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay so here we are and I'm done attaching the nose and then I was left with this little strand that I'm also going to use for something. 
if your yarn is done then go ahead to attach some some more yarn of gray we're going to put something here like a line it should be around um let me see around three inches long or 3.5 to 4 inches so i'm going to just go below below the carpet bring my yarn through and then find the exact mid of this nose and go down i want it to be very simple so that's all i'm going to do and looks like it's not in a straight line but i think after tying the behind the behind side of it it will be perfectly fine so i'm going to turn my work around and then make sure it's not so stressed on this uh this side fold and then make a knot at the back i'm going to just make a simple double knot make sure it's tight enough check on it on this side if it's okay then we are good to go and now um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this knot and then uh, this is done so the way i've done this is the same exact way you're going to go ahead and do the lashes and the eyebrows on both sides with your black color or whatever color you chose to use on this part and then uh, we shall attach the ears at this point and then yeah that's pretty much it this is how our carpet looks like and at this point you're literally done with everything i'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do the eyebrows and the lashes on this side so we shall be focusing on this part so i'm going to get my black yarn and put it through my tapestry needle I'm going to make a long strand because we need it okay so here we are Um, for the lashes I'm going to put them at this angle and then the eyebrows will be somewhere around here because I'm following exactly what I did on this side so follow the same line where I place the eyebrows on the other side mine is this one and uh, I'm going to just go behind, pull my hand through, make sure you leave a strand to tie, then uh, skip some stitches and go in. Like that then go into the same spot where you put through your yarn in the beginning like that then into the second spot so that's all we are doing um, you're going to determine the thickness that you want for your eyebrows so for this one I did a total of three strands so at this point I'm done because I have three strands here one two and three I 
and now um we're going to just go to the back and make a note make sure you don't tamper with the uh, the stretch on the outside part of the carpet just make a double or a triple knot whatever is safe and won't come out that's done and this is how it looks like so now we are going to attach the eyebrows I think they'll be around here so you're going to do the same exact thing so determine where you want to attach your eyebrows eyelashes sorry so mine will be at this point so I'll go in, leave a strand for tying. Then determine the length that you want. So I'm going to skip three stitches, three rows, one, two, three, and then go in and then come out through the same exact space here. Like that, and then, um, go back in so make sure these two are very straight and then you can tie you're going to cut and then make a knot at the back so you're going to make a second one the same exact way so we have two eyelashes so that's one and we're going to make our second one I think I'd prefer for my second one to come from somewhere close to the first one somewhere there but then spread out to like uh, a higher point somewhere around here so it's that simple you're going to go back in at that same exact point pull through then go into the second spot And that's it so after this you're going to cut and make a knot at the back okay so that marks the end of this And uh, this is what we have this is what came out and it looks really really pretty and you know with baby things you have to keep it as simple as it can be you don't have to put so much art and all that so as long as they can understand it then the better so after this we have both sides of our eyes finished and that marks the end of our tutorial you can go ahead and put a very hard fabric at the base if you would like i'm not going to do that because i wasn't instructed to i was just told to make this for the baby and yes i hope you guys liked this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up this is a new project to our collection and i think this would be really interesting because I know like so many of you guys have kids and uh, would want to make them something pretty so yeah I hope you guys like the tutorial I'll see you in my next one thanks for watching bye